especially Premier, uh, Vice Chancellor, um, ladies and gentlemen, fellow colleagues, uh, welcome here at the 28th uh, SAI conference. Uh, thank you for allowing me some time into our tea time now. Uh, I'll try to be quite brief, uh, but I would like to just mention a couple of things. Uh, and thank you for allowing the opportunity. Uh, firstly, to introduce myself, and I'm, uh, I'm referring to our EXA uh, CEO, uh, Engineer Sipu Madonzela, which states that we should rather introduce ourselves differently. We should introduce ourselves as engineers, because that's what we are. Uh, so I'm introducing myself today as Engineer Valdi Fulun, uh, as the uh, SAI president. Um, I would like you to, I'd like to take you through some uh, of what SAI is. Maybe you don't know, maybe you've heard about the organization. Obviously you hear, so uh, something did come through, uh, but allow me a couple of minutes. My first slide though, I want to give feedback to the, to the two gentlemen that just spoke to us. Uh, and I'm going to say Kanako, it is time. <laughs> It is time to stake up stewardship, and I think this is what it's about. Uh, you've both mentioned very important things. Uh, that is our responsibility. We have to take stewardship. Um, and, and it is nice to hear about the National Development Plan and the things that we are going towards and the growth that we are planning. It is excellent, and we know that we need to be a part of that. We need to take up stewardship. Um, it is good to know that even in the current environment, we are the eighth scarce skill in our country. We know we need more industrial engineers. Uh, once again, we take it up. We actually want to say we accept your challenge. We need to stand up as industrial engineers. Um, and thank you for the, for the wonderful presentation that you did today. Uh, in, in sharing the future. Uh, we really ex uh, appreciate it. On another note, you've mentioned new type of industrialization. I also say in South African context, we have to be careful uh, in saying the new type, just optimizing everything. We as engineers or the engineering f facility has also got a... Um, responsibility towards our people. Uh, we cannot optimize and remove people. Uh, we need to think if there's a 20% job shortage, uh, that what we do, we do with our people, not against our people. So it's our responsibility to stand up and say, guys, how can we go into the new industrialization but still considering people? Uh, that is just something that I... Uh, took out from it. And then we are very excited. I'm not going to read everything, um, but I'm just going to say we want to be from good to revolutionary. Uh, I had to wait until the last point to get that last one. Um, so um, just a bit of history of SAI. So maybe some of you know this, don't know this. It was founded, or it started in 1892, uh, when they founded something they called at that point in time, transparent rock and gold. So um, for those who do not consider transparent rock, it's currently called diamonds. <laughs> Ladies falls in love with it. Then in 1890, uh, the South African Manufacturer Association started. 1892, the Professional Body for Engineers was formed on the RAND. And in 1902, South African Association of Engineers. Then we took a bit of a break. Um, mainstream manufacturing, uh, more in, in, in the world. Um, then it came to 1964. Uh, the University of Pretoria introduced the first industrial engineering graduate, uh, which... Uh, Prof. C. de Toy and uh, Prof. Arendorf was involved in industrial engineering courses at the university. Then 1968, South African Institute for Production Engineers 
uh, was formed. 1976 South African Institute, so South African Institute of Industrial Engineers was formed. In 1986, Witt Center organized the first industrial engineering conference in Africa. And then in June 94, 1994, the production engineers and the South African uh, Institute for Industrial Engineers were dissolved and a new combined institute, the Southern African Institute for Industrial Engineers was formed. Um, there's a full history uh, that is why we are here today. Uh, I'll try to, try to share it after the conference. It's a nice read uh, by one of the previous presidents of SAI. It's just how we evolved, how we became industrial engineers, uh, and how we changed the world. Uh, I just thought that that would be some interesting facts uh, if you guys did not know. If we look at our current vision and mission, uh, we are a vibrant learned society representing and promoting industrial engineering in Southern Africa. So by this I'm not saying industrial engineering, I'm saying industrial engineering, all the fields, it is an inclusive vision. It's not an exclusive vision. Our mission, we present, uh, represent and promote the professional interest of our members and of the industrial engineering discipline in Southern Africa. In, do in doing so, we aim to enhance the supply and demand for industrial engineers, industrial engineering. So, then what do we do as SAE? What is our goal? What is our focus areas? And this year, we set out to say that we've got five focus areas. Firstly, promote SAE and industrial engineering discipline to the Southern Africa. We grow and maintain our membership base, because this is what it's all about. This is the community of where we connect. This is where we network. This is where we learn and grow. In SAI Council uh, and future years, so we need to think not only of today, we need to think about tomorrow. Uh, we also need to think about longer than tomorrow. Then continue and improve corporate governance. That is important. This is also a directive from EXA. Uh, that we manage our organization or institute uh, with good principles and practices. And then obviously conferencing and SAI events. And this is what we aim to do to our members and provide to our members. This is where we grow, give our members the opportunity. Uh, so in these focus areas, and I'm not going to kill you with the detail, uh, it is published on our website, what is the detail of all of these five areas uh, and the action plans. Just some more about SAI in terms of member benefits. Um, we network with other industrial engineers, hopefully. This first network session went extremely well. We've got a journal, newsletter, and other publications. Uh, we call CV listings for job opportunities, a place where we just promote industrial engineering. Companies recognize that and use this. Conferences, similar events, a CPD manager and support. So it is in the interest of the industry but, and on yourself to continue to develop yourself, uh, to start to keep on improving. This is what we stand for, and there's also programs to keep us developing. Mentors available. We collaborate online. Extra registration support. And then some benefit, this discount for professional registration fees if you are a professional registered member at EXA. What do we do for, or where do we play in industry and academia? I think this is also important. It's just not about members. Members do get benefit, but SAI as an institute needs to play a wider role. Uh, so we play a, a role in convener meetings where we get technical university or universities talking to one another to make sure that we align our curriculum to grow the curriculum to once again demand uh, uh, balance demand and supply. Supporting special interest groups developments, curriculum analysis, 
XRA presentation, CPD accreditation, and then we play as the intermediary role between academia and industry. It's important because our, we protect our members. Industry wants certain activities, uh, and academia provides uh, industrial engineers. And then we also very much participate in international collaboration. And this is to the growth of our members and the opportunities of our members. So, as I said, not a long presentation, just an explanation of, of what SAI does. How to join. If you are not yet a, a member, you can go to our website, you can register online, uh, or you can email admin at sai.co.za. Or you can speak to Lynette outside. Uh, Lynette is our capable uh, office manager and takes care of most of our correspondence and administration. And lastly, all of this is never possible to put things together, to work with partners, to work with sponsors. And this is just never possible without without our sponsors and our partners. Uh, and I thought it well to just, kind of, just to say thank you once again to our partners, showing uh, their commitment to industry, showing their to commitment to growth. Um, but just a special thanks to our academic partner, which is the Val University of Technology. Uh, you guys have, have done a lot for the success of this conference, and we do appreciate your efforts, your contributions, uh, it was uh, a real pleasure working with you. And then all of our other sponsors, which I'm showing up there, I'm not going to read through all of them, but thank you. Uh, this is making it possible. This is reducing fees of conferences. Uh, it is becoming increasingly uh, more expensive to attend conferences, and we know that. So with the like of the industry sponsors, uh, this is helping us. Uh, get to a fair reasonable amount uh, to be able to host uh, these events. So, from my side, once again, thank you for everybody that is here. Uh, enjoy the rest of the time. Um, we're looking forward to another couple of great presentations. Uh, enjoy the networking. I think that's the most important, that we share business cards, that we get to know other people around the room, uh, and get to grow industry. This is all what it's about. Uh, so please enjoy the time with us, uh, and thank you very much.